Let's do some questions with permutations and combinations. Okay, so here's the one. We have a line, and we have six men and four women, and we want to know how many ways six men and four women can stand in line. Well, we're not putting any specifics on men or women or if men are identical or not, so we're just going to assume they're ten people. So how many ways can we stand ten people in line? Well, we can do that in ten factorial ways. Okay, so the second part is a little bit more specific. So we don't want two women to be next to each other. So how do we do this? Well, what we do is first we order six men. So we're going to draw our six men here. So that's going to be six factorial ways to order the men. And we don't want two women next to each other, so we have to pick these spots where the women can be. So it can be to the left of each man, so that's a possibility, or it can be to the right of the final man. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spots that we can put the women. And how many women are we ordering? Well, we're ordering seven women. So now there's seven choose four ways to choose the spots where the women are going to stand. And then our last step is we have to order the women. So there's four women. Um, let's say we place them there. Well, they're distinct women. So women one, woman two, woman three, woman four. There's going to be four factorial ways to arrange those women. So our final result is going to be six factorial times seven choose four times four factorial. So again, first we arrange the men. Second, we choose the spots where the women can stand. And third, we order the women. Okay, so third question, how many ways without two men next to each other? Well, this is impossible, so there's going to be zero ways for this to happen. Why? Because there's two more men than there are women. So if you have four women, you can order them like this, one, two, three, four. And how many spots are there to put the men? Well, there's only five spots we can place the men, but we have six men, so two men have to stand next to each other. Which, by the way, this question is a very good pigeonhole principle question. But, that aside, um, there's only five spots for men to not be beside each other, but we have six men, so we can't have two men next to each other. Okay, that's question number one. Question number two, how many binary strings contain exactly five zeros and 14 ones, where each zero must be followed immediately by two ones? Okay, so let's draw what we have here. We have five zeros... And we have 14 ones. So, um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, we have 14 ones. So if we were to just arrange it without restrictions, we have, see, we have 19 total numbers, we have 5 zeros, and 14 ones. So without restrictions, we'd have 19 factorial over 5 factorial, 14 factorial. Okay. But the zeros have to be followed immediately by two ones. So what does this mean? Well, if we have a zero, we actually have a zero one one triplet. So these have to be together, and all these zeros have to have two ones beside it. So let's take a look at what we're actually ordering here. Okay, so we have five zeros followed by two ones each, and then we have four ones remaining. So this is kind of similar to how we did it before. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 objects. Four of them are 1s, and five of them are triplets 0, 1, 1. So our end result will be 9 factorial over 4 factorial, 5 factorial. So this 0, 1, 1, these are individual objects. So it's kind of like saying, okay, we have five A's, and these A's happen to be equal to 0, 0, 1. And then we have four ones. So how many ways can we arrange five A's and four ones? Well, that's going to be nine factorial over four factorial, five factorial. So it's just finding out and figuring out uh, what needs to be grouped together and what objects you're arranging in the end. So that's it for permutations and combinations. If you have any questions, please leave them below and I'll answer them the best that I can. Uh, remember, this is also the multinomial coefficient nine, choose four, five, or even just 9 choose 5 is a sufficient answer as well. So uh, as an aside, those are there. But if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll answer them the best that I can.